what I would really like to watch? An old 90s cartoon. It's yes. usually what you go for. But right now, specifically with you, I would like to watch an old JonTron video. And when I mean old, I mean like archaic. <laughs> I'm talking about like 2012. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And it's about it's a, a monster party. And monsters are scary. I know you get spooked really easily. So I'm wanting you to watch this. <laughs> and he's really funny. And if I had to wager, if I had to guess, I would bet it's about an obscure video game that neither of us have ever heard Probably. of. Probably. So, let's check this out, shall we? All right. John Tron and Normal Boots Art graciously provided by PixelArtGuild.com. Jontron. You know, some people tell me the NES is overdone, but you know what I say to them? The only thing overdone here is my toast. <laughs> Every now and then you come across something really special. What's that? You want to see it too? How could I say no to that face? Jack, bring it up. You were right. Monster Party. There we yeah. go. There's really no words for this one. It's an NES platformer that was developed by Bandai in 1989. As you can see from the box art, it was intended as a nod to the horror classics of the past, and even a parody of sorts. Originally, it was supposed to be more morbid, but for one reason or another, just became another zany NES game. Oh, but what awaited within the walls of this cartridge, I don't think anybody could have seen coming. Let's go test it out, shall we? All right, let's just go ahead and uh... Put this bad boy up right here. Put that huh. up. Put this in here. Get ready to start playing some Monster Party. Oh, wait. I gotta get the game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, who could do without a classic game like this? You got all your normal kinds of monster madness going on here with the background. Killer plants, spiders, minotaurs, temp... Oh. Tempura shrimp? What? what? Oh, this is gonna be one of those <laughs> days, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mark was walking home from a ball game. He looked up and saw a bright star. While he stared at it, his retinas melted. The beauty of the star made his eyes moist. <laughs> okay, you're the, you're the boss. So he didn't notice the star land right in front of him. Hey, where's Ben Stein when you need oh him? Oh my god. Oh, okay. It wasn't a star at all. It was a motherfucking pterodactyl. Turns out this pterodactyl needs your help saving his world from monsters or something. But how are you going to achieve that? Like this, says Bert. Then they fused together. Wow. You know, I really like the direction they decided to take what with this. The Just my stuff. Fuck. <laughs> Why don't you have wings or anything? <laughs> so, uh, here it is. Monster party. Uh, I'll tell you what, there sure is some sort of a party going on over here. Just not sure it's the kind I want to be invited to. So basically what you're doing is walking around this side-scrolling world and going in and out of doors. Is that, like, Hello, your arm? Baby. Yeah, okay, cool. Now I guess I'm fighting a fly-catching pitcher player answers. who seems to be aspiring to be cast in the little shop of horrors. I'm just a mean green mother from outer space and I'm bad. from outer space and it looks like you've been had. Almost there, sweetheart. Just kind of work a little yeah. on that syntax. Once you beat him, you get a, uh, you got a question mark? Yeah. I got a few questions about this myself. Who wants a piece of my dick fat? Oh, cool. <laughs> I took some drugs and became a dragon. What? Okay, cool, whatever, doink. I was rolling with it. Time for your preparation age, sir. So I guess <laughs> I gotta go find some more doors. Sorry, I'm dead. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. Ew. Wait, what? Really? <laughs> really? I just... Yeah, great. Grab the freaking question mark and let's keep moving. It's like wartime. No time to question this shit. What the fuck? All right then, the game decided to go ape shit. Hey, I'm hardened at this point. I'm ready for anything. 
wait, I lied. I was not. I was not ready for anything. No, 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 no. So much no. All right. Shaking that one off. Let's just get rid of some of these eyeballs. Clear the way. Please don't pick on me. Yeah, well, no, I, I, I wasn't planning on it. Holy shit! Wait, are you being serious with me right now? This guy's gonna go around opening with lines like, please don't pick on me, and then immediately jump on me like Bruce Willis in the midst of a bathroom emergency? Screw getting your thrills from modern cutting-edge games. All you need to do is look back to 1989 Bandai. They've got the market cornered on surprises. God, jeez, this, this yeah, game's that kinda shitty. hard. So I found what I presume to be the exit? Uh, how do I get in? I'm literally pushing all the buttons. I, I can't get in. I guess I'm gonna have to go find the key? Well, I can tell you one thing. It's certainly not here. Good. No, no, I'm good. No, I'm glad. I'm glad they put it in the game. No, I'm, I'm glad. No, it's, I mean, it's not like... So it turns out what you have to do is kill all the monster bosses in a given area on the same life, get all their question marks, and then go to the exit. Since I died, they reset. I gotta go back and kill them again. Let's just say this Beautiful. is a rather unforgiving game. I've never been good at these old NES games. They're a little too tough as nails for my taste. I like at least a little leniency. I understand the need for depth and challenge, and especially different difficulty levels, but I've always stuck by the notion that I shouldn't have to practice a casual game with the same diligence that's required in neurosurgery. So, level two, something tells me oh, it's no. gonna be a bit like level one. Fish face on legs! What? Yep, 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 yep. Oh, oh. I, I think I lost my train of thought there for a second. Let's mix it up, says Medusa. Well, I guess this game's version of mixing it up is making things slightly normal, because this Medusa fish is the most standard thing I've seen so far. Yeah. <laughs> like, what, what is the alligator shooting at me? Is babies? <laughs> oh, sound no! Reasonable. Let's just see what we can find over here. A well? Uh, hold the bill for a moment, sir. But is that a well with eggplant moons shooting plates at me? I thought they were hearts. Like... <laughs> yeah. This is about how long it should probably take. So you come upon Jeez. these guys who want you to watch their dance. Yeah, okay. Why can't I kill them? Why can't I- Why can't I kill them? I've been here for like three minutes straight trying to dispose of them, but nothing gives. Hell. I can't even exit by breaking the wall. What the hell am I supposed? Oh, oh, oh. You're actually supposed to watch them dance and not touch them. Should have figured considering it's what? this game. Captain Pumpkinhead tells me not to pick on him, then immediately sucker punches the shit out of me, but no, dancing Good zombies strategy. mean business when they say things. Watch me Give dance. Me a, I need yeah. a scotch. Catch my javelin. Now that's just inappropriate. Really, that's all this game is. It's just going in and out of doors with ridiculous bosses inside. Look out, baby. Oh no, there it is. What? what? Yeah. <laughs> When did this game go from a game called Monster Party to a game where I fight shrimp and onion rings? Why? And, what did the, and why is there a space station in the background? Oh. 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 Where am I? What's, what's going on? Am I dead? Am I, am I dead because I lost the will to live after I saw a goddamn 8 bit onion ring? This must be a trial. This must be a test of my will, of my strength. This is it. I'm finally facing self-actualization. No. <laughs> no, game. You will not beat me. I am more powerful than you will ever know. Also, I'm well acquainted with doors. Wait, what? Is, is, that, is that pants? Is that motherfucking starch pants wow. walking around like Jagger Hoover on a Tuesday afternoon? No, I, I, I changed my mind. No. I can't. I can't. This game is going to be the end of me. Oh, wow. <laughs> Nate, this game is about as hard what? as it gets. Here I am, though. Whoa. The final level. 
Okay, done kill? this routine before. Time to beat all the bosses and get to the exit. Ah, uh, is that just like his body grinding against the ground uh. and exploding into blood? Yes, yeah, yeah, I believe that's what that is. Disgusting. Beautiful. Okay, uh, I, th I thought I beat all the bosses, but I don't have the key and I can't get through this door. What the hell? Do I have to do something special for this? So I go back, check every room, nothing. Until, oh, I see, the level spawned me immediately to the right of one of the bosses. Now, <laughs> what is that? Uh... Whatever, let's just fight this boss and beat the game. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Okay, so that was one of the most difficult boss fights I've ever fought in my life. Oh. Now I have to grind all the way back and oh beat the other God. bosses again. But this time, let's be a little smarter with it, huh? Let's go in as Bert and see if we can do more damage. Damn. Nope. I'm not supposed to be here. No, come on. Let's just go ahead and look it up on YouTube. There we go. There we go. I did that. It was me. Can't say I'm not good at completing things. John, you couldn't finish a cheese dish. Hey, Jacques. I keep you naked on purpose. <laughs> Want to get the latest info and updates on JonTron videos and events? Well, go on over to Facebook.com slash JonTron Show and click like. I'll be waiting for you. Hey, thanks for watching. Damn, now, one thing that really is, helps me yeah. out is when you guys trying like to get and favorite to to these Facebook. videos. So if you like them, favorite them, favorite them, do it. You know, I just, look. I will. Oh, I'm like trying to look and like I scroll just a little bit down and there's you and Nate and Nick. So we did watch this one? No, this is Kid Nation. Uh, I just looked up John Tron to try to find. Uh, uh, yeah, it's there. Wow. What a shit game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad. And it's always, dude, I saw a meme the other day, and it had like this, you know, very detailed, badass kind of 80s rock album style cover on it. And it's like the, the cover of an NES game is what it says. And it was like the actual game, and it's just like these two little blocks like, like with sticks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like a lot of using your imagination and a lot of stuff that was made just to sell because it was related to some other property. Right. That, yeah. Just a bunch of shitty, shitty games. Any because they got so buck, popular. You know? Yeah, any way to make a buck. Which, I mean, still to this very day, there's shit games that come out, but at least you can, like, watch footage of them right. and see what they look like. Before, and, you just, you didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to look at the the cover and go from there. What's with the shrimp, though? Seriously, yeah. like why? <laughs> I mean, I guess if you eat bad shrimp, it can be a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> no, that didn't fit in at all. I don't know, unless it was just some inside joke. But why would you put that into a I, game? I have no clue. And then the little boy fusing with the falcon thing. Yeah, and going the main in space. Beginning. And there you was like no backstory. You would think it would just be like. A kid goes to a haunted house on his street where there's supposed to be a party and really it's monsters. Or yeah, that's not, a better story. Not that. So he was like taking off his glasses. Did you notice when he was like fumbling around? Mm -hmm. Do you remember what that's from? No. Do you remember that movie? It's like where all the Hitler memes come from. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what. Yeah. Anyway. Wow. Yeah. Didn't get that. But I do I finally think that, did. I got one. <laughs> I do think that that meme is hilarious. I've seen it put to so much so stuff. many different things. Yeah, yeah, so funny. But John Tron once again, hilarious, and it's kind of grueling. I feel bad for him at points during these videos. Yeah. Where I'm like, he really played that he much really of this. Played that much. Holy shit! Eight Fucking rounds, me. but how long does it take him to actually get there? I don't know. I don't know. Very but entertaining for us. God bless him. <laughs> Thank you, John Tron, and thank you guys for checking out this video. If you liked it, if you could give us a like, we would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome. Leave a recommendation down below in the comments, please. It's a great idea. And if you have any recommendations, you could join our Discord page mm -hmm. because we have a new one, and the link to that will be down in the title along with the link to this original video. So you should go give John Tron some love as well. Absolutely. But for this video, that'll do it. I think that's it. See you guys. See ya.